Okay, I'd like to talk about a case that was a real pain in the neck for the patient who had the night before coming to the emergency room and having a delicious meal of chicken, at the end of which he said, hold on, some of the chicken is stuck right here and no matter how much I swallow or move my neck, I can't get rid of the sense that I have an impacted food bolus stuck in my throat. And so came to the ER with a multiple hour history of not being able to swallow secretions. The real case where you're thinking, no, I think this really is an impacted food bolus instead of that uh, case of lump in the throat that can happen with some viral illnesses or that can happen uh, with anxiety. And these cases can be frustrating because uh, the patients need to get testing before any service is going to act on trying to remove um, the impacted food. They're going to want some conclusive proof that it's there and this often means a radiology department uh, test such as a radio contrast swallow. So while waiting um, for this to be arranged, I do a lot of airway point of care ultrasound and so I'm used to seeing transverse views of the neck with the trachea in the midline and with a little minimal amount of pressure, the esophagus sliding out to the side. And we know from good literature that in children, 98% of children are going to have an esophagus that's visualizable with a little bit of probe pressure on the anterior neck that's going to uh, slide out to the left side of their body, just a little to the left of the trachea, whereas only 1% are going to have one that slides to the right, and only 1% are going to have an esophagus that remains hidden behind the trachea. So we've got this video clip where we start at the level of the thyroid cartilage, and you can see the trachea in the midline, and as we slide down towards the level of the sternal notch in this patient, you can see the esophagus really nicely on the patient's left. And then we get to this area where there's a sudden transition from that circular esophagus to a layer of air bubbles that should really only happen if you have static bubbly material stuck in the esophagus. When someone swallows and you watch it dynamically on ultrasound, you see that shower of bubbles but it instantly disappears as the bubbly saliva passes. And then as we keep going inferior, we suddenly get to what looks like some muscle within the middle of the esophagus because that's what it is. This was the impacted chicken meat bolus. So we were able with point of care ultrasound to generate direct visualization of this impacted food bolus in order to better advocate for intervention on behalf of this patient. And this represents a uh, maybe a novel innovation for point of care ultrasound that uh, could potentially uh, speed throughput of these patients through the emergency departments and on to definitive care.